I thought I had it all figured out. I thought wrong. It was like God got some green Play-Doh, scrunched it up so some parts shot up in straight points. Then he gouged out some holes in the middle and then threw the whole thing on the water and made it float. Those aren't just lagoons down there. They're full-size lakes. That must be Kayangan Lake. It's supposed to be the cleanest freshwater body in the entire country. There's also a four-foot barracuda that supposedly lives in that lake. On the southern tip of the island is Makinit Hot Springs. Millions of champagne-like bubbles floating to the surface, warm to the touch. Don't think I could see it from here. For a closer inspection and exploration, I kept thinking to myself, this must have been what Alex Garland was imagining when he wrote The Beach. Too bad Danny Boyle didn't think of looking here to shoot the movie version of that book. But in hindsight, I'm glad that no one was given a chance to spoil the untouched beauty befaying our eyes. We reluctantly turned around and headed for the last stop to this island hop. No matter how many times we did it, landing on water is the most absolute cool thing on this planet. Marikaban Bay Resort, on the main island of Buswangu. The main difference, this natural setting is more resistant to certain water sports that were not allowed on Club Paradise. This resort is more for those who want to tread far away from the beaten path, but still want a little more physical exertion than trying to get on a hammock. One thing I think that should be added to Marika Bun Bay's list of water sport activities is seaplane loading and prep. But you've got to admit, all this work is like a scene from a movie where equipment is key to the success of your quest where the proper gear is vital to your survival, where a thin and fragile thread connects you to the outside world, where an infinity pool and an outdoor massage table is just a few feet away. I thought the flight back would slowly desensitize us as we headed further away from our islands. On our way back to the real world, but what is actually real is what we are slowly leaving behind as the open sea swallows up them in its vastness. And we return, refreshed and recharged, physically tired, but spiritually lightened and enlightened. From a view not quite as high, but good enough, we had been witness to God's gemstones scattered on blue velvet, another moment, perfect.